Hello, welcome to my installation tutorial for stylized neural painting. And this installation tutorial is for the people that use this Windows machine. And we're going to be going through how to install this with Anaconda prompt. And if you don't have Anaconda prompt installed, you can check out this video 3D and painting installation tutorial around 1 minute 30 to 2 minute. I'll be going through how to install Anaconda. It's pretty straightforward. And I'll link that down in the description. And the first thing that you're gonna do is open up your Anaconda prompt. And what you're gonna do next is to download this repository. You can do it here, download zip. And then after you finish downloading it, paste it to where you want to put the files at, and then you extract the files. After you finish extracting the files, you can um, rename it to SNP, short for Stylized Neural Painting. And you go into the folder, you can see all the files that you have installed. And the next thing you want to do is to download the paths folder and the paths folder you can find it here and if your gpu memory does, is not that high you can download the paths folder for a low uh lightweight version too which can for you can can run in high high resolution without being limited to memory issues but the quality is definitely still theoretically not as good as these ones still so if you want to run these ones, you can try out um, Colab, Google Colab. And the next thing you want to do is open these four links and you want to download all these four files here, as you can see here. And you want to download it and put it to here. You want to, you see the folders, you want to download those folders. So I already have it downloaded. I just, I'm just going to show you guys how it, it's going to look like. It's going to look something like this. These file sizes are pretty big, so that's why it took quite a while. So keep in mind that your space is going to be taken up quite quite a lot. Okay, the next thing is you want to set up a SMP environment. So you can run the clothes with the set of libraries that you want to use without, um, you know, affecting to your overall environment of your other codes. So first, you want to create a, an environment called SMP2 with Python equals 3.6. Sorry, um, my mouth is being really bad because of some, I think it's called ulcers, but yeah. You want to activate um, um, SMP2, and then you can see here that it turns into SMP2. So you have to keep in mind that when base converts to SMP2, that's when um, it's going to um, use the libraries that you install in that environment there. So when you run these codes later, you can... Um, these comments, my bad. It's not technically not codes, but yeah, if you if you run these comments later, so it can use the correct libraries. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you go to requirements, you open up, and you want to delete Torch Vision, Torch, and OpenCV Python. And you save the file and close it, and then you can copy this line of code. These will all be down in the description, so you can easily copy and paste them. So you copy this next line, conda and store PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, Qt Toolkit equals 10.2 dash C PyTorch. And if you don't have Qt Toolkit 10.2, and if you have an NVIDIA graphic dry, uh, GPU basically, you can install um, Qt Toolkit 10.2 in this video. I mentioned it um, pretty briefly and then showed you how to correctly install it from around two minutes, 10. In 10 seconds and if you don't have um nvidia graphics card you can try to run on your gpu instead but that might be a bit slow i'm not too sure i didn't test it out since uh, i didn't have that much time and you can use this line instead of um this line that we are using for nvidia graphics card i'll also link this video down in the description uh type y and uh, and you should be ready after after you've done this and do pip install dash r requirements dot txt. Hmm. I forgot to cd into the right file directory. My bad. So you want to copy the file directory here. You can easily copy it here and then cd and then paste the file directory. And, the, and then since we are on gdisk, now on cdisk, we will want to convert the command command prompt to gdisk so you can see now it is referring to right directory here so the next thing we want to do is pip install dash r requirements dot txt ah jeez hey hey it always does that thing 
where it thinks I'm copying things. So now after all these are loaded, you can mm, go down to here. And then when you go to test images, you can see all these images that are up for you to try out. So what I usually do is rename them into one. And, and after I rename it to one, you can reuse the same command over and over again. So you see, this command is referred to one.jpg, which is this. So every time you want to use a new image, you can use the same command, which I like. And this function is for you to change your canvas color. So when it, what it is drawing upon. So this one is um, the amount of strokes that um, the AI is gonna draw. Mine can run to around one minute, uh, 1,250, around that number. And yeah, um, I wouldn't say it's it's really quick. It takes around what 20, 30 minutes. I'm not too sure, but it takes quite a while. And the next thing is max divide. Um, I'm I'm not too sure what this does, but apparently it runs out of memory from around 14 to 15, since my GPU um, VRAM is around hmm six eight eight yeah. Um, around 8 for GTX 1080 so it rounds out around there so you want to keep in mind if you put it to below 5 like 4 3 it starts to get really slow if you do it at 1 it's gonna be really 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 slow so it's probably the batch but I'm not too sure and other stuff is already set it um, there's this command uh, that you need to be careful it's called disable preview so when you run this without um, preview uh, with uh, disable preview you wouldn't see the images, which is a good thing. So the your computer wouldn't run any slower. So it'll focus on generating the result. So I I would suggest to have disabled preview on. So I mean you can just look at the results um when everything is done. So 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 you just paste this command here, and paste this, and you're basically good to go. So. <clears throat> You want to go to output, it will generate an output file by the way, and then you can you can see that it's running now, but it will only show the output at the end. So we just have to give some time to run. Okay, now after everything is done, it took around what five five minutes? You can see that in your output folder you got some extra strokes. So it just basically pieces all these strokes together and make a video. So you can see it here, final. Uh, this is the final picture of your canvas. And yeah, this is only with 500 strokes. So there, there, there are gonna be more details if you have um, higher amount of strokes, of course. So this is 1,200 um, strokes. And this is just um, 500 strokes. I think you can see a bit of the difference here. Around the nose, you can see less less details. There's uh, larger strokes, basically. Yeah, so you can you can uh, adjust the strokes you want. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. I'm so sorry. Um, this is for oil painting, photo to oil painting, and this is for photo to marker painting. And there's a, also a style transfer function, and there's also the eight bit graphic artworks. Uh, the comment for 8 uh, bit is shorter. And then for the style transfer, let's um, just give it a shot now, since uh, it's the most different one since it's, it's a style transfer. Um, um, let me just change to 300 strokes so it doesn't take that long, or maybe 100. And then if you didn't Disable preview, you basically you can see this in the video. But mm, it's not necessarily good visuals for you, but it, it, it's it's rather interesting. You can see some squares, some squares all line. But this is pretty cool. And basically the rest are the same thing, it's just different styles. So the only thing you need to modify is the test images, canvas color. Um, by having black is pretty good actually. 
since this marker pen pen painting is semi transparent, you know. So like when you when you draw a line, it's like kind of transparent and you can see through. So if it's white, it'll, uh, the the colors may not be as obvious. And this is the same thing, but has less comments for eight bit graphics. The max divide is less than um standard five. I, I don't know why, but strokes you can you can adjust around the same. Okay, here's a really important thing that you need to know. So after we finish the result for for the second one, the results will usually overlap in the output window. <clears throat> Actually, never mind. Since we have different file name, I just remembered. But if you name it to um one, it'll overlap. So it wouldn't be like two two of these files. Uh, it, it would just replace all these, and. For me, that's a good thing, so I don't need to constantly delete them since it'll get replaced and get off my memory really easily. That's one of the tricks I used to do. But one thing about that one, that thing, is bad is because if you forgot to save um these videos, they'll be basically replaced. They, it's it, you can't really re, um um recover them too since it's replaced instead of deleted and then move into trash bin. So here you can you can see everything in the video. But we already we already seen it on the preview. So if you have oh another thing is that if you name everything to one, it will replace up to the frames where where it's designated. So since this one is hundred, if I if I do this one, do the Joker one to just a hundred, it will only replace the image up to around hundred. Oh, you probably wouldn't encounter that problem now since they give you a final picture. Okay, that's good. Um, sorry, I'll I'll just cut that out. So, in general, you just need to look at these two. The rest is not really important, so you need to check the final, and the input, and the animated, and yeah, that's basically it for neural stylized neural painting tutorial. It's another really straightforward, well, straightforward one. So thank you guys for watching. Check out my main video if you haven't seen it, and support me on Patreon if you want. And if you have any questions about this, like, oh, your installation failed or there's an error, you can check out my Discord and there's a tech channel for you to post your problems there and I'll debug them when I have time. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.